The 25th Division is composed of some very renowned regiments. The Wolfhounds of the 27th Infantry, at the heart of the Fighting 25th, the pride of Hawaii. Almost two years in command, what I've found is the most important part of this regiment has been the people. And the people that have served since 1901 up till today in this regiment, and that will continue to serve moving forward. And what we want to do with Wolfhound Week is essentially educate our folks on the proud history and legacy of this regiment, what has been done in the past, and uh, what we're going to continue to build upon in the future. Uh, so we had a lot of events geared up this Wolfhound Week to uh, bring uh, the past and the future together here uh, during this week. We've just been honored to have some great honorary colonels of the regiment, Sergeant Majors of the regiment. The past two honorary colonels of the regiment, Louis Millet, a Medal of Honor winner, last known bayonet charge in the Korean War and in uh, the Army. And then our past one was General Foley, Medal of Honor winner as well from the Vietnam War, who essentially served as mentors to the battalion and our soldiers. Colonel Millet, I met him as a private when I was here doing the EIB. Um, and it was a great um, chance for me to actually hear the stories from the man himself. They provide us a tangible person. Whereas you watch a video uh, on a person or you read a Medal of Honor awardee and what they've done, and you, you reflect a little bit on it, but when you actually get to meet the man, it's stuck with me this whole time, you know, 22 years later. There's a lot of pride in this organization. Um, and as I reflect back on my Army career, uh, some of the, the uh, defining moments of my career was a Wolfhound as a company commander in Bravo Company 227. Uh, and you know, the, the motto, no fear, uh, is a legacy which everybody, every soldier that has ever been a Wolfhound continues to, uh, to emulate every single day. And, and so it's a great organization and I, I was honored to be a part of it. And it's an absolute thrill to be back as the commanding general of the 25th Infantry Division and get to hang out with Wolfhounds even more. Being a Wolfhound is a true honor and privilege uh, where you get to see just the legacy and impact of years and years of hard work of folks going back over 100 years. And, um, you know, we just continue to get better and better and more proud and, and serve as a family. We have a plaque out there that says, once a Wolfhound, always a Wolfhound. Couldn't be more true. I've had multiple Wolfhounds reach out to me. I've come in here on a lot of weekends when Wolfhounds are passing through because they want to reflect in their past. Um, so it's, at the end of the day, it's just a great honor to be a Wolfhound. Those memories in that time is short, so live it up while you can and then enjoy it for the rest of your life and remember it.